Hey there, how's it going? All right, just getting this set up. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> Hey, how's it going? Share to a page. Okay. So, <clears throat> we are going to continue with this guy today. All right. How's everybody doing today? This fine Monday. <laughs> Let me move this a little bit closer. There we go. All right. Let's see. Where did we leave off? <clears throat> I'm going to clean this file up. Oh, awesome. Glad to hear it. I'm right in the middle of updating it. So there's a big, big update coming very soon. So you should be excited for that. No extra cost, of course. Okay, just deleting some of this stuff. All right. <clears throat> hey, me, how's it going? Yeah, I still have a, a tickle in my throat that makes me clear my throat every once in a while. So, <laughs> I apologize for that. Okay. So, I just want to rename some of this stuff. <clears throat> just really quick. Here's the body. Let's look at this body. <laughs> I need to adjust that a lot. <laughs> Looks like he's in a fat suit or something. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. How's it going? Hey, what's up, Ian? Okay. Let's see. He's got the longest torso ever. <laughs> okay, let's fix this body. <clears throat> Think logical. Yes, you're welcome. No worries. Come on. Caracas, hello. A quick question. How can we change the Sculptress Pro resolution to always stay the same even if you change your brush size? Randy, that's just in the stroke menu under Sculptress Pro. Just turn the adaptive size off right here. So if I turn this on, turn this off, and then you can adjust that with the subdivide size right here. And it's 100% based off of your scene size, so your ZBrush scene size. I'm going to turn that back off. <clears throat> okay. Ah, yep, that's why. I turn off that spotlight projection. Okay. Oh, awesome, Julian. Sounds great. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, let's see. So, <clears throat> I'm going to block out his, his hands. I'm just going to block him out. I'm going to try something with uh, just the end of his, of his arm here.
<coughs> hey Vince. Just gonna define this arm a little bit. Uh, Neil, it's not, but I made a new one. Might as well throw that one out. Let me go get it. <clears throat> Thanks for reminding me. Happy, happy Mother's Day yesterday. All you moms out there. Let's see. I probably don't get many moms watching my stream, but... <laughs> Okay, almost there. I'm gonna copy this one. Okay. Okay, Neil, I'm gonna send this to you through Facebook if that's cool. Instead of posting it. One second and boom, there you go. Okay. Back to chat so I can see what you guys are saying. Thank you, Neil. <clears throat> You're welcome, Brad. Uh, yeah, I did finish the Yoda. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> there you go. Looks like that. <laughs> that was I rendered that in Blender. So that was my first time rendering in Blender. I love that renderer in there. It's pretty nice. And I got the a nice HDR image on there. You can see it reflecting in his eyes and stuff. So that was fun. <laughs> Ashen, hey, how's it going? Good. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, so since I can't really see his hands very well, I'm just gonna make them up. Pack, pass Mac, thank you. Uh, mustache, I have a little bit. It's just I'm a I'm a huge I'm a huge uh, ZBrush fan, so um, I use I would use Blender for rendering and uh, maybe UVs and and retopology. Some of the other stuff that ZBrush isn't really the best at. <clears throat> okay. Is that a bear? Um, it's look. It looks kind of like a fox or a coyote or a wolf or something to me. Even a dog. I don't know. Canine. Let's just call it canine. Canine family. <laughs> George, thank you. You are welcome. Okay. Um, I think logical any vice versa. Uh, I was just gonna say the, just use the, um, the lazy mouse. Try to try to do some adjustments and maybe change your your draw. It shouldn't leave dots. That's weird, unless you're going fast. Maybe try and slow it down a little bit. <clears throat> um, but Lazy Mouse should do it. You can also try um, try extending the length of the of the the red line that Lazy Mouse gives you. If you're using my user interface, the length of that line is right up here. So if you turn Lazy Mouse on, the lazy radius. That that increases the line and it will should slow it down. <clears throat> yeah, Neil, go ahead. Yeah. Now try try changing the stroke type too, away from dots to just um you know straight, whatever it's called. 
can't remember the different types. Um, this freehand, change it to freehand away from dots. That might help. Chari, thank you. <laughs> yep, there you go. 10% off if you're interested um, in joining the course. I still haven't raised the price yet. Um, characters with fur, do you, do you keep the strands separate? Do you end up combining them to the mesh? Um, it depends. It really depends on the character and depends on, depends on how much fur and the style, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, I still have allergies. So every once in a while it catches in my throat. Um, but it depends on the style. If it's just going to be, you know, slightly raised fur off the surface, just to indicate that it's, it has fur. Um, sometimes I'll leave it as, um, uh, separate pieces, but most of the time I'll end up combining it in the end just to, uh, you know, just to make it look, look nice and smooth and connected. Yeah. I'm attempting to make fingers. <clears throat> A thumb anyway. Okay. Looks like a mitten right now. <laughs> Um, I think, yeah, the bot should allow you, it's, it, it has in the past anyway, it allows for certain links. Yeah, Ashton, this is my user interface that I've customized the heck out of. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on a second. My background here. Let me, let me redo ZBrush so you can see the brushes. I always forget this user interface that I have for streaming cuts off the bottom so you can't see my brushes. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. Okay. And if I miss your question, please post it again. I, I never intend on ignoring people, but occasionally I, I accidentally do. Nice, Neil. Sounds good. I want to see it. To Atara, hey. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you did? Okay, I need to look. All right, let's duplicate this. <laughs> yep, when I'm live, that's good. What time is it where you're from? <laughs> Six fifteen in the morning. Woo. Um <clears throat> So how long does it take to complete your workshop? And is this the only one you are doing? I only have one workshop, if that's what you're asking. Um, how long it takes is completely up to you. It's it's lifetime lifetime access. That's lifetime of the course, not your lifetime or my lifetime. Um, but I've I've going I'm going on three years now. But it's it's unlike any other course out there, meaning that it doesn't it doesn't end at the end of eight weeks or 12 weeks or whatever it's like you just keep going so you just because making characters is a journey and uh so people have been in there since the beginning and you just um you can just make as many characters as you want <clears throat> can i jump right into stylized stuff or do i have to study anatomy and classical sculpting first you can jump right in yeah studying anatomy comes comes in time 
along with it. It's kind of part of it. It's like, uh, I, I can't help but always combine, or uh, what am I trying to say? I can't help but always compare learning to learning a musical instrument, like a guitar. So when you're learning a, a, a guitar, you're learning everything all at once, not just, you know, chords or scales or, you know, you kind of learn songs as you go and that kind of stuff. So, hey Vince, thank you. And thanks to Atara for the kind words. I appreciate it. Okay. Auto groups and mirror and weld. Hey, Deneo. Okay, let's oh, turn on topological. Just kind of work this hand a little bit more. Oh, catch me. <laughs> Is Dr. Pepper a requirement? No, it's my vice. <laughs> it's, I don't know. <laughs> my addiction, whatever you want to call it. Are your brushes an update from the old ones such as SK Carve and others? Um, Felipe, I, these are, I, I constantly update my brushes, but nothing has really changed that much, um, from, you know, four years ago when I first made them. The, the, the chisel brush, this one, uh, this is, this is a better one than the one I made, so this is the default one that comes with ZBrush. So I just left it in there, that's why it doesn't look like my icon, because it's, it, it ships with standard ZBrush. So that one, that one used to be carve, I believe, and now it's chisel. <laughs> but I'm, I may, they've, uh, they've changed the UI a little bit since I made these. So the, the wording now covers these icons. So now you have to kind of hover over them to see, but I'm just such a visual person that the icons, the reason I made them that way is because I wanted to see what they do rather than what they're called, I guess. So that's why I made these, uh, these icons. <clears throat> okay. Awesome bridge. Sounds good. Yeah, it's just at 3dcharacterworkshop.com. This is my, the logo right here. And right on the front page, you can get all these brushes and my user interface for free. And you can, uh, click the button to follow and get more information about the course, which I'm going to be updating that. Uh, I guess you'd call it a webinar. I'm updating that webinar soon because there's things that have changed since then. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Hide. Doesn't want to hide. There we go. Weird. That was a weird bug. <clears throat> I don't know what was happening there. Thanks, Neil. I'm gonna raise these fingers up though a bit so they're straighter. Okay, I think I'm liking those. I'm gonna block out his shirt next. Yep, 10% off. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper today because, like I said, I have a tickle in my throat, a little, uh, I have, it's springtime here in Utah. There's pollen in the air everywhere and it's gotten to my throat and uh, carbonation helps. So. <laughs> Goodness, otherwise I have to mute my microphone. Uh, Philippe, I don't know if I'm going to or not. Hey, Saeed. How's it going? I'm doing well, thanks. It's, uh...
Is there a way to transform two sub objects at once? Yes. I'll show you here in a moment. <clears throat> so if, let's see, and you do it with the, um, <coughs> excuse me, you do it with this button right here. It's called transpose all selected subtools. So basically, let me grab, well, let me just turn it on here and reset the gizmo, turn this on. And it uses your hide and show hotkeys, which is control and shift together. So you can control plus shift and drag on the background and it will make it make everything transparent. And then you can hold control plus shift and just add to the selection, like the nose, the eyes, the eyebrows, the whatever else, like these ear pieces. And then you can move them all together like this. Not that I want to do that, but that's, that's how you would do it. And then make sure you turn this back off when you're done. Really cool. I use it all the time. <clears throat> you teach how to create key. Yeah, so I do the initial run that I did when I made it three years ago. Um, I I walked you through how I created that Kate character. Um, yes, it's from that old No One Lives Forever monolith video game. And um, but but the the way I teach is I teach you how to create any character that you want to stylize character, not just Kate. Kate's just an example. And I'm, I'm, I'm adding more videos to kind of, um, cover more techniques. So, because that's just one character, it's kind of, okay. <clears throat> and I always like to show off the, we have a brand new student community that's in that's coming out of beta testing very very soon and i like to show that off because the student work in there is great so it kind of looks like zbrush central a little bit because it's built on the same architecture but i have a top row and here's all the characters being done in there and yeah there's my yoda that i posted um anyway yep lots and lots of work and lots of lots of students in there doing lots of crazy stuff so anyway Join us. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Hey, what's up, Tenchi? You guys ever use an external GPU on a workstation? External? I have not. I have two internal uh, graphics cards. I've never tried an external one. Um, I've seen them used on laptops, but not on desktops. Philippe, I... <clears throat> Philippe, I... I uh, I'm still thinking about that. I'm trying to upgrade the course first and then I will work on doing that. Okay. I have a question. I make mental models. They look good, but I always think they're not pretty. What do you think I can, you can do? Mental models. Are you talking about like without con concept? If you're, if you're not using concept, that's probably the biggest reason. So, I would find reference to help you, as much reference as possible to help you out. Um, I, I recommend to my students not to model their own designs, especially to start with, unless you're a professional character designer. Okay, <clears throat> let's make that... Uh, I'm gonna merge him together actually. Merge him together. Uh, yeah, you. There's. I've actually kind of moved away. I teach Dynamesh in the course, but I've moved away from Dynamesh and I'm gonna do that right now with this body. Fill this, duplicate it, hide it. And then I use, um, let me see. I'm going to apply this dynamic subdivisions. And yep, I use a uh, remesh by union now rather than dynamesh. It just kind of gives me a, some better results. I'm going to try and Z remesh this though. 
Because see how dense the fingers are and how loose these arms are? I want them to kind of be similar topology. And I could even do that with Sculptus Pro, honestly. I think I might. Let's just try it. Whoop. Let me get rid of the lower subdivision levels. There we go. <clears throat> okay, hold on a second. Sculptus Pro. Turn on. Okay. Now. There we go. So anywhere it's going to connect, I'm just going to I'm just going to kind of run Sculptus Pro around that area. Probably not the probably a little too dense. Let me pull this up just a bit. I can also tessimate the entire thing, which does the same thing. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Okay. I just did that to kind of even out the density of the whole thing. And that's, that's Sculptress Pro. So now I can stitch it together with better, better stitching. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to go under Remesh by Union, which will stitch it all together. Except turn Symmetry back on because it'll turn it off when you do that. Okay, and now all this is stitched together, you can see. See all these little triangles now? So I can come through here and smooth it out. And it will get rid of those. Hey, David. Um, Caracas, I actually have a, a lesson specifically for people that if it's your first day in ZBrush, I sit down with uh, a friend of mine. His name's Adam Manoa. He's a professional illustrator. And um, I sat down with him and looked over his shoulder and walked him through his first day with ZBrush. So that that's that lesson is in the course for you to partake of. A lot of a lot of new beginners really like that. Tail sticking out quite a bit. So now I can just blend these in. Hey Ivo, thank you so much. these fingers in a little better. <clears throat> that hand is wonky. I gotta fix it. It's looking weird. Now that it's stitched, it's pretty easy to fix. Well, I say that. <laughs> it's not really. I'm going to turn Sculptress Pro off for a minute. Oh, too much. I'm just trying to even out these fingers. Like the pinky is too big and the middle finger is too small. Okay. <laughs> Look what I did. I messed that up pretty good. <clears throat> Let's do it with the move brush instead. Thank you, Saeed. If I'm saying your name correctly. Okay, that's close enough. And also, I wish I could do Sculptress Pro on a hidden mesh. But if you hide it, you can't... You can't... Uh, the, the Dino Topo doesn't work anymore. Dynamic Topology.
but I can still manipulate the geometry, which is good. So in order to turn Sculptors Pro back on and get more density, I have to kind of go like that. And we can do it to the top too if we want. Not the best hand ever, but it's fun. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. I'm not super happy with this head transition. His his head feels kind of wide coming down to this thin neck, so I want to kind of adjust that. It looks good from three quarter, but from the front, he feels just a little wide for my taste. So I'm going to save this off. All right. I also rendered out that, uh, the pig, his pig companion that's kind of looking at him. Like he doesn't believe a word he's saying, or he's just bored. Um, I can show you. I rendered that out in blender too, and that worked pretty good. I need to make it brighter, but let's see. See if I can find it. There it is. Whoops. Gosh dang it. Come back here. So, looks like this. Oh, come on. <laughs> so, it could be brighter, like the background isn't as white as I'd like it, but just the, the subtle rim light and the nice even lighting across here and the nice ambient occlusion and all that stuff worked out really well. I'm pretty happy with it. So that's the, that's the companion that's going to be looking up at this guy. So <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to take this head and you can see I've Z, Z remesh this head. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. Um, so, hey Mark, yeah, it's, um, I, I mostly experiment with Sculptress Pro. I like it a lot because I don't run out of geometry when I'm using it, where if I'm using just Z Remesher or, um, Dy Dynamesh is very similar <clears throat> where you, you really don't run out of geometry, but the problem with Dynamesh is that you have to rebuild your mesh every single time if you want more, like if you stretch your polygons out, right? So I'll just give you an example here. So if we have this sphere, I'll duplicate it. Okay, if we Dynamesh this sphere, right? Uh, da, 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 dynamesh. Okay, so this is a Dynamesh sphere now. Um, if, if we make some adjustments on it, like this snake hook brush, if I just pull this out like this, um, and it starts to do this. If I Dynamesh it again by holding control and dragging, it will, it will rebuild everything. So if you have, let me undo that and make a crease. So if I have a crease right through here and then I re Dynamesh, it's going to rebuild that and you're going to lose your crease, right? So if I were to do the same thing with a Dynamesh sphere, so we have this, or uh, sorry, a Sculptress Pro sphere. Okay, I'll turn on Sculptors Pro and let me turn up the resolution. There we go. 
Okay, so I kind of prepare the surface that I'm going to edit a bit, like I did with that dog. Okay, um, and grab this snake cook brush and see, watch what happens when I pull it out. See how it doesn't shard all over the place? Now, there, there are people that embrace the shard, like uh, Ashley A cubed, if you ever watch her. Um, she'll probably show up now that we mentioned her, but <laughs> she she likes to hop in and uh, you know say hi every once in a while. She streams, I think tomorrow. Is it tomorrow, Neil? I'm trying to remember. Anyway, she does fantastic creatures, and she will shard the uh, geometry on purpose and then use that for her creatures, which is awesome. I love it. But for my purposes. Uh, you can see Sculptors Pro does not run out of geometry and I don't need to redynamesh that. So, um, for example, if I do this, this pinch, I'm going to turn Sculptors Pro off for a minute. If I pinch the surface just like this, um, I'm, and I want to do another snake hook, I don't have to rebuild the surface. Whoops. Because, because it's not, there's no reason to. It doesn't, she streams Wednesday. Okay, thanks, David. So if that's make if that makes sense, that's why I I really like Sculptus Pro because it just I don't run out of geometry. May thirteenth at three, three to seven. Okay, awesome. Thanks, Neil. Yeah, she's <clears throat> she's awesome. She's a multi talent. She does uh, she does stylized characters. You wouldn't know it by watching her streams, but she also does amazing stylized characters. In fact, she worked on a a movie, a net straight to Netflix movie. I'm trying to remember what it's called. You guys can help me out. It was really, really good. Um, Felipe, are you going to pose it? I'm going to try. Yeah, I'd like to. Well, I'd like to. I don't know if I'll be able to do it on the stream, but um, yeah, I would like to pose it up. Okay. I'm just kind of looking at the body shape and making sure. Okay, so what I wanted to do, next gen. Yes, that's that's right, Ian. Looks like your cap locks is on. <laughs> okay, um, I wanted to shrink this, the, the width of the head. I'm going to do that with T-Pose mesh. Hopefully it doesn't crash. No worries. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> okay, make sure symmetry is turned on. And I'm just going to move this in. <coughs> Goodness. Thank you, mute button. Okay. Actually, I'm trying to decide. I don't necessarily want to shrink the the eyes. So I'm gonna mask that bit out. How does the remesher handle the Sculptress Pro very well? Very well. Um, so this head used to be a Sculptress Pro. So see this head right here? And I Z remeshed that and it worked out really well. And that's, I didn't really use, um, uh, you know, keep groups or anything like that. I just Z remeshed it default and that's what it gave me. So I'm happy with that. Okay. I'm gonna mask that bit off. Shrink that in. Okay. That's all I wanted, just a little bit. He was just feeling wide. <clears throat> Giovanni, it's going well, thank you. Okay. So for example, see this body, let's do, let's duplicate it again and let's Z remesh it. And I can do keep groups on here if I want to. Um, we'll see it. I, I can use the, I'll do, I'll do that easy remesh plugin just to try it out. Um, let's go 10,000. And I don't, okay, see how it says when you, when you hover over this easy remesh it, 
See how it says alt click to run with tessimation? It's already tessimated. So we don't need to do that. We can just click it and go. Let's see what it gives us. I forgot to turn on keep groups though. So it'll probably just steamroll the whole thing. <laughs> nope, it did keep groups. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's not bad. It's a little, did good with the fingers. Yeah, I like those fingers. Let's do half it. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Stylized character the same like creating car caricatures? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, and it likes to crease the edges. <clears throat> we can hit uncrease on that. Yeah, that plugin's nice. And especially for the price, it's like six or seven bucks or something like that, really cheap for what it does. Okay, and now we have a smooth mesh. And I am gonna keep his head and neck separate so I can keep it editable. All right, and I don't have Sculptors Pro on anymore, which is good. I'm done with that. So I can just continue to work this and smooth it. And his ankles are quite thick front to back. So <clears throat> let's fix that. kind of looking at these lines here okay now I think we can make uh, his his shirt <clears throat> yeah obviously the the geometry connecting the shoulders to this this is not the best right through here but not bad not bad not bad and then we got poles right here which is kind of weird but and these but seriously not bad <laughs> i'll take it okay let's fill this ba -ba -bum. We almost have 200 people watching today thank you very much guys for hanging out hope you're sculpting along Okay, what time we got? 12.45, okay. This is, I like his belt, how it's, his belly's like way being sucked in by that belt. It's really funny. Getting a model ready for print, awesome. Are you on a resin printer or a extrusion printer? <clears throat> I need to print some stuff. I wanna print that that baby Yoda that I made he turned out fun he would be he'd be a lot of fun to print I think inspire I, <laughs> I excuse me I it's still sitting here not hooked up it's horrible I know I know this I need to, I need to, I've just been so busy updating the course and the forum and all that kind of stuff. I've just, I haven't had time. So, okay. Da, da, da. How did you set up the white silhouette in the corner? So silhouette comes with um, ZBrush 2020 and above. And usually this is a black silhouette on a white background. But if you go to preferences and thumbnail, just change this background color to black by if you just have to turn this color to black first and then click the word background and it'll change it and then it'll look like this 
Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see here. And go down with the arms up his. I'm, I think I'm going to make this neck collar a separate piece. Hi from Charlotte, North Carolina. Hello. <clears throat> what do you use to render your images? I either use Keyshot with the Keyshot Bridge, which, which is fantastic. I've used Marmoset before, Marmoset Toolbag. And recently I've been learning how to render in Blender, which is really nice. Um, so any, yeah, or wherever you want, but that's what I've used. <laughs> Use them as a pencil holder. <laughs> That'd be fun. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this off. <clears throat> and then let's just kind of start deleting everything that's not the shirt. Whoa, we got spiral. <laughs> that doesn't happen very much, very often anymore. Is uh, See, that's a spiral. That's what the Z remesher used to do all the time. But um, I'm going to have to mask it off this time instead. Instead of using what's there. It might even work better. We'll see. Um, okay, let's do... Mask. Lasso. Hello from Monterey. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay. I just made these two poly groups and we're going to try that Z the easy remesher thing again um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think what a, how I want to do this how do I want to do this clean it so you, you'll see this um, see how jaggedy is across the bottom right here and across this neck it's quite jaggedy actually let me do a better job at that I'm going to fix this mask a, a bit more. So this is based off of masking. So I'm painting, I'm trying to make this shirt. So if I hit Control W, puts the whole thing in, in a poly group. Then if I mask, well, <clears throat> hide this, invert it. Control W, now we have two. Now, if I hit clean mesh, see what happens to that jaggedy bit in the, around the neck? It, it cleans it up pretty well. Okay. Um, so now that I have, have it kind of cleaned up, I can just delete everything that's not the shirt. Whoops, come on. There we go. And then delete hidden. Show the body again so we can see what we're working with. And then we can just, with the move brush, just start to move it out and down. I'm, I think I'm gonna make the second, this, this kind of skirt half down here a separate piece. So this will just end at the belt. Give him a little more pooch. Pooch of a stomach here. I can inflate the whole thing by, see, if I show the gizmo, and I hover over this yellow square, it says control to inflate, so I can just inflate the whole thing up a bit. <clears throat> um, not panel loops yet. Panel loops I usually use um, when, when I'm ready to give it thickness. I like to work with it single-sided for as long as I can first because it's way easier to manipulate that way. <laughs> looks like <laughs> looks like Donald Duck with no no pants. Get some pants on, dude. Jeez. Okay. Whoop. I'm gonna try and help this out by making some poly groups. 
Whoops, I thought I had lasso. Okay. Uh, do I use my thumb? I do. Yep, I do my thumb on the button right here. And that's because I, and I set it to right click and that's right click navigation in ZBrush, which is really nice. Looks like I missed a little bit here. Uh... <clears throat> oh, because it's spiraled, that's why. Yeah, I'll I'll build this as a separate piece for sure. Okay. So since this is spiraled, I'm not going to be able to do what I want, but that's fine. Oh, Olden? I think you mean Olsen, but hey, thank you very much. <laughs> Been working on a centaur character. Nice. Any advice on stylized short hair? Um, I usually use a VDM brush if you can find one. Okay, let's go auto groups. Looks like some kind of halter top or something. <laughs> Funny. Okay, so now with this, let's let's clean it again. Now that just messes the whole thing up. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to attempt to Z remesh just this, and we'll see what happens. Uh, let's try. Yeah, let's try 10K again. Let's see what happens. It may destroy it. Yeah. Not the best. I'm just going to try basic Z remesher. groups maybe at a five um it can be easy z remesher can be better for sure <clears throat> tap it but it's using it's using the exact same tech so it shouldn't be that big of a difference i'm just i was just trying to get a better result through here it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. That's not bad. Not bad. All right, that's livable. <coughs> Goodness. Okay. Clear the creases. Okay, I kind of picture this tunic being like a like a green or a it's almost like he has a vest on too like maybe i'll split those sleeves off and make a like a shirt and then a vest that's a big i guess a tunic is what you call it right so i think i am going to split those sleeves off and that'll give us a way better z remesher result Let's see if we can okay maybe one more Yes. Probably not one more. Yes, one more. Nope. <laughs> that one's too much. <clears throat> okay. So, let me re finish hiding this. This. And then I'm going to split these off. Okay, I'm going to do a group split. Okay. <clears throat> now we have the sleeves on their own and the uh, tunic on its own. We can just scoop the sleeves up underneath and pretend it's a shirt. 
And I'll usually delete the arms out from underneath the sleeves too, eventually. A lot of people will like wonder, that's a, that's a question a lot of people have. Like, do you leave the body under there? And the only time you would really leave the body is if um, the character will ever take its clothes off. Otherwise, unle unless you're doing cloth simulation in a television show or something like that, Otherwise, you just delete it, especially for games. <clears throat> you kind of enjoy your live feed, then your double speed videos in your course. They're also great because you can explain detail, but I feel this is way better than... So, uh, Dino... Did you check? I have both in my course because I've gotten that feedback before. Some people like time-lapse videos. Hey, what's up, Vinit? And some people like live streams like this. So I actually did a full, I, I did a, a student-only live stream at 66 hours worth of video, extra additional video content that wasn't there when I first recorded the course. And you can find it if you go to the community, the old community, not the new one, um, it's it's also on the new community. You can find it there too. But um, if you go to the community on the right hand side, you'll see it says sirloin videos. And if you click there, you'll be taken to a page that has all of them. And I can kind of show you a little bit. <clears throat> One second. being slow okay so this is the older community just right here and click on it and it takes you to a page see this this is a character that's slow just like this and I walk you through retopology UVs uh, map baking substance painter the whole thing until he ends up looking like this and this one I the last episode I'm really proud of because I worked with uh, Brendan Bankston, who is also a streamer on here. Um, he works, um, <laughs> no, not in one sitting. It's like that many videos, two hours, two hour videos. So it's literally a live stream like this. Um, but um, yeah, I so Brendan joined me on the last episode of that and helped, helped us with uh, Sculptress not sculptress, uh, substance, substance painter. Um, Brendan, if you haven't checked him out, he streams on here as well. And he does, he does more realistic characters. He worked on the, the newer Avengers game, but super cool. How did you set the concept of the art on the side? I just used uh, spotlight. So you just go to texture and you load your texture in here. And then you click this button that says add to spotlight right here and that'll do it. But make sure you turn off the spotlight projection right here, which you can find under um, brush samples spotlight projection. So make sure you turn that off. <clears throat> Very cool VK. Okay. So we have this now. Um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna use the bottom half of this and just duplicate it down and use the bottom half for this bottom half. Kind of use what's there already. Why not, right? So let's duplicate it. Auto group this. Delete hidden. And then move this down. Work smarter, not harder, right? <laughs> What's up, Justin? How you doing, man? <laughs> what, what, what is that image from? <laughs> Twitch streamer. 
<laughs> looks... Oh, funny. <laughs> looks like somebody stepped on his toe. Or something else. <laughs> hey, what's up, Marquise? Is dynameshing to the highest needed resolution the best way to merge two objects? No. Um, well, it can be. But uh, the... What am I trying to say? Uh, if you watch my stream back, this will be recorded and put up on uh, Pixel Logic's YouTube page. You can watch how I stitch this guy together. So, hey, what's up, John? How you doing, man? Um, how did I hide a ring? As long as you are on select lasso right here, you can hold down control plus shift and click on an edge and it will delete that, or not delete it, but hide the ring. And then if you use auto groups like this, Auto groups will put any island into its own group. So now that this one is hidden, it created two islands and made two polygroups. It actually made three because it kept the original polygroup on that ring. So yeah, that's how you do it. <clears throat> Hope you're doing good, John. All right, I'm gonna bring this up and over. I'm, I didn't block his tail out. His tail needs to come out of here. So I'm gonna leave room for that. M patron, how's it going? And then pull this down more in the front. His ankles are so small, I need to work on that. Okay, and then his waist is much smaller than this too. Good job, Shane. Fix it. Okay. And smaller in the back. He's just much smaller than I have him. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete his the body underneath that I don't need because I, I have to keep going back and forth and back and forth. So I'm just going to get rid of <coughs> underneath <laughs> the Bob Ross of ZBrush. I've heard that before. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, are you doing a Q&A this Friday? I'm kind of stuck on a character I was busy with. My perfectionism is getting me stuck. Yes, it always makes sense. You're your own worst critic. Um... So, what was I going to say? I keep reading comments and getting distracted. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, the Q and A. I'm not doing a Q and A this Friday, but go ahead and send it to me. And uh, I've been doing like I call them targeted feedbacks, which is just one-off videos. So if you're really stuck, just send it to me, and I'll ch I'll take a look. Be happy to. Okay. Whoop. And I'm going to delete this body, this upper body, and then delete this, the arm down. Except for this is spiraling, so it's going to make a mess. Okay. Yeah, that's good advice. If you're stuck, leave it alone for a minute and come back. It's always good to walk away and come back anyway. Let me see, whoops. Thanks, Peter. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Okay, that's good enough. <clears throat> mm. 
Nope, I did not. This is from uh, Sandrew Cluso right here. He's a um, he's worked for a lot of different studios, including I think he's worked at Disney Feature and Leica, and I think he worked on Santa Claus. Is that new that new Netflix animated film? <clears throat> Thanks, Neil. Yeah, he does really great. Uh, Claus, thank you, Claus. He does fantastic uh, character concepts. Really, really good. One of my favorite artists, honestly. Okay, man. I need to work on this body. It's <laughs> the proportions are still horrible. So let me, now that I've hidden or deleted all the stuff underneath, I can really, really work it. I like his belly, but he just feels very wide front to back, which does not feel correct. Oh, did he work on Proud Family too? Yep, not surprised. Yeah, Dave, how's that going, that plugin? It's awesome you're doing that, by the way. I couldn't believe it. Give him some shoulders. Is Kyle from Pixelogic? I doubt it, Justin. Um, do you need me to have him reach out to you? <clears throat> I have him on Slack. So I could reach out to him if you need me to. Or you can harass him later. Okay. <laughs> Kyle's a good kid. Okay. Let me see. It's just... Oh, my goodness. Okay. I will. Sorry, this is slow going. I'm just making these, I'm just trying to get these proportions the way I want them to look. His, his waist is so small, I'm just trying to figure that part out. And I have three pieces <clears throat> that I have to keep going back and forth with. The underlying body and then these two pieces. And you know what? I'm just going to stitch these two together because it's kind of driving me bonkers. So let's just do it. Uh, da, 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 these two. Okay, this one and this one. Merge down. Okay. Mask, no, uh, the select lasso, not the mask lasso. Select lasso is what you want, John. It's like, what? Okay, so let's stitch these guys together. Let's save this first. <clears throat> it's hidden. Oh, it's hidden by the pixel. Oh, right, right, right. Goodness. Okay, let me lift it. So it's right there. See that guy? Select lasso. There you go. Yeah, this logo. I'm gonna have to give give Kyle grief. <laughs> okay, Z modeler, and then we're gonna bridge these two together. So bridge. Um 
two holes. So this one and this one. There we go. <clears throat> that makes made a colorful, colorful stitch. So let's insert, get rid of that. Make it all one and then smooth it down. Yep, you're welcome. Glad you could finally find it. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Bridge those edges. <laughs> you rang? <laughs> I heard you got some edges down here. You want me to stitch? <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also going to use this to create a belt with duplicate. Um, how thick do we want this belt and how high? Maybe higher. Maybe three thick? Yeah, let's go three. Boom, belt. All right. Could shrink it in and then merge this uh I want to call it a dress <laughs> this tunic thing to kind of go in just gives me a, a a point to then react to Yep, that's it. You just two open holes. It'll just do it most of the time. Sometimes it's a little buggy, but it works. Okay, so I don't know that I'll have enough geometry to pull this off, but I'm going to try. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to grab the cloth brush and just kind of warp it around here. And a cl the cloth brush is just, it's almost like this, the, the standard brush with a little more power. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And for the rest, I can use just the move brush to pull it over. I want to overlap this bit. See how overlapped it is right here? It's hiding the buckle. And then it just kind of comes up at a diagonal angle from there. Wondering how the color tool works. Can you set a color material to one sub tool and add a different one to another? Yes, absolutely. It's called poly paint. And it's basically vertex coloring. So you're coloring the points. Okay, I'm going to mask this off and then just see if I can really pull this over.
Um, Said, I can't. You can. Um, I'm just. I don't know how much time I have right now, but I'll try. Um, how long would you say it took you to become proficient, ZBrush? Uh, proficient? I don't... Um, I'd say six months? Something like that. And then to get, like, really comfortable with it, probably two years. And I'm, st I'm still learning stuff. Because <laughs> ZBrush is a large, complex program that you you learn stuff new every single day even after using it for 7 years <laughs> I drag this down and make a little <clears throat> another wrinkle Yep, yeah, basics you can get you can get a handle on pretty pretty quick. Like character blockouts you can get within a within a month or two. But it's all the minutia or the nuances. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of some of these lower shorten that skirt a little bit. <laughs> Andreas, you're making me cough. <laughs> All right. Now, I'm liking that tunic much better. Much better, much better. Okay. <clears throat> so you just kind of take some patience and some working with it to, to get it to be... Look how you want it to look. Could probably make those wrinkles go even further down the side. But for the most part, this is feeling pretty good. How did you delete the outer edge of the skirt? Um, CG Rockstar, I do, but I don't really... Uh, stream on my own channel much i just stream here but yeah you can follow me in case i ever do it's uh shane olson art is my twitch channel so excuse me how i deleted it was um you just have select lasso selected and then you hover you control shift hover over an edge tap it and it will disappear that whole ring and then you just do delete hidden So, you know, I've had plans to, to stream on Twitch occasionally, but um, I think every every Monday is, is, a, is it's almost too much for me. So, because of all the my other obligations. So, my intentions were to stream on my own, <laughs> but I just never have. Adjust these sleeves here. Well, thanks, Neil. And I have intentions of doing a, a YouTube channel, but I just, it's so much stuff. You know, I have to, I have to figure out my priorities. I want to do a Patreon, but again, <laughs> you know, it's like, what, what's the best? <laughs> and right now it's, um, it's this, this channel and my course. Is, is top priority. All right. <clears throat> Come on, throat. You can do it. I mean, ah, it's, it'll be around hopefully.
Um, Sandip, you can watch my previous um, streams. I, I color my characters in just about every stream that I do. So I'm going to be coloring this guy fairly soon. I guess I can color his tunic up really quick. We'll say I wanted this a green. I'm going to roll this over into like a yellow green. Mm, maybe something like that. Just click on this hard paint and hit fill object. It will fill it. I kind of like those darker green sleeves on there and the dark darker belt. <clears throat> when I have time for your workshops, don't have access. And when I'm busy, they're available one of these days. Yep. <laughs> so that's, that's a lot of people. Okay, so this sleeve though, I I was thinking about doing like a beige colored sleeve. Something like maybe darker. Like a Robin Hood looking thing a little bit. <clears throat> I don't quite know. And he still needs this this white collar coming up. And I gotta find out if it's if it's part of the tunic or if the shirt, I don't know what's going on. I might reach out to Sandro and ask him how he would do that. So see what he had in mind there. Okay. Oh, thank you, Santiago. Thanks. Okay, let's do a brown for that belt. I can even make him like a gray instead of a brown. That might work. Um, like a blue gray. I'm not sure. Yeah, there's all sorts of color color schemes you could do. <clears throat> oh, kind of like Tailspin. Yeah, I remember Tailspin. That was a good one. I think it was Disney. I think Tailspin's Disney. <clears throat> Okay, let's do some, let's do the boots. Well, I guess I can add the collar or the collar. I want to get rid of the spiral down the sleeve. So I'm going to Z remesh it with, um, let's see, turn off half and go point, maybe 0. 0.5. That's better. Okay. <laughs> I got rid of the color though. Or bring that color back. <clears throat> there. Okay. Something like that. And then let's do. I was going to make his pants like a dark green or something. And then the boots, not too far off the color they are now. But what I can do is duplicate. And then you just delete everything that's not the boots. Oh, come on. There we go. Goodness. Okay. And what I usually do too is I'll I'll delete the feet underneath them. Delete hidden. Oh, two hundred and thirty people. Thank you so much for watching me today. I appreciate it, you guys. I know there's so many other things you can be doing right now, even though you're most likely stuck at home. But I do appreciate it. <clears throat> so you just hit a poly loop and then did a poly groups to separate the boots. Uh, yeah, so 
like I've shown, I shown it earlier in the stream, but basically you just hide a loop like, whoops, like so, and then you use auto groups and that will make each island its own group. If that makes sense. Very much hay fever season. Ugh, I'm, it's killing me. Okay, I want to bring these in. <clears throat> I don't know why I was, I was pulling them out for some reason. They need to get smaller. His ankles are teeny. It's not the, qu <laughs> the quantity of people, it's the quality of people. <laughs> it's true. Okay, so with these boots, they come really low on the ankle side. For sure. Highest quality of peeps. <laughs> These shoes always crack me up. The just that that floppy Disney fantasy shoe, you know? Like the seven dwarves hat. Adam, they, a lot of times they like this, they have that little toe, that little toe blob on the end. I'm going to see if I can get that toe blob in here. <clears throat> That's the official term, toe blob. Well, did I delete the hands? I did. Okay. Ooh, that was close. I almost deleted those hands. <laughs> yep, shoe meat. <laughs> shoe meat. Okay. Make him rounder up here. everyone who watches the lives of zbrush is a little head of the other artists because we're willing to learn <laughs> maybe there's there's a lot of um tutorials for a lot of different kind of art like aaron blaze does awesome 2d stuff if you ever seen his stuff <clears throat> really really great tutorials Yeah, it does. It does look very Don Bluth. I bet. Um, I bet Sandro even worked with Don Bluth at a time or two. I'll have to ask him. Sandro's got some really good books out of his stuff. And patron, right? I always get confused when to sculpt with Dynamesh mesh and when it's okay to Z remesh. Um, I yeah, my my guide is usually, well, I hate to say it's it's kind of a gut thing, um, but it kind of is. But it's just whenever you're ready to go for a smoothed mesh. I don't spend too much time in Dynamesh or Sculpt, Sculptress Pro, just a bit. Because ultimately you want a low resolution mesh that's been subdivided and that's where you put your detail. You, you really shouldn't put too much detail in your Dynamesh mesh. Unless you're going to uh, 3D print it and you're not going to take it anywhere outside of ZBrush, then you can, then you can just stay in Sculptress Pro or Dynamesh. I'm gonna try just kind of putting that little toe blob on the end. Bringing in the sides.
I did these toe blobs on Mickey's shoes when I did the Disney Infinity version of Fantasia Mickey. He had those little floppy toe blobs. <laughs> Okay, let's color them up. I think I'm going to go dark with the with the shoes. <clears throat> mm, I don't like that. Let's see. Um I'm going to leave his pants or his his legs. I don't think he's got pants because he's got his tail sticking out. I'll leave those the same color. But his shoes. Let's try a dark just darker brown, maybe. Mm. Nope. That looks horrible. Maybe a green, like a dark green. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> huh. I don't know about those. The bright red. He did work for Don Bluth. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um, let's see. You know what? An orange would be good. Like this. There we go. That'd be good. All right. <clears throat> that works. Uh, I tried the same as the belt. Yep, and I tried darker brown. I like these orange shoes. Yeah, the, the same color as the belt wasn't working for me. Didn't like it. Oh, <laughs> you guys, pale yellow. Like you're shouting from the, from the balcony. Try blue. <laughs> YouTube's about 30 seconds behind uh, Twitch and Facebook. So I apologize, you guys. Like, made my color decision 30 seconds ago. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Grab this. <laughs> you, down in front. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> Doug, waiting for somebody to say that. Oh, this one's weird. <clears throat> Why did it do that? Okay. Let's insert edge loop. Actually, here's a, here's a trick, you guys. So if I insert an edge loop right now, it's just going to insert it right along the flat surface of this. But I actually want it round. I want it to be out. So you can turn up the intensity on here to like a 7. Then if you click it, you can see it kind of adds to the contour. I want to go higher than that. Let's do a 20. There we go. So you check that out. That way I don't have to try and move it up and out. It just does it. Let me go a little bit higher than that, like a 40 maybe. There we go. Nice. Okay, and then if I hit crease polygroups, it's going to put a crease around that inner edge. So it'll kind of give that rounded look to the, to the shoes there. <clears throat> yeah, there's yellow. Yellow poly group. That doesn't look too bad. But I think I'm a fan of the orange. Burnt umber. Yeah, there's... Doug, there's so many hidden little gems. 
inside of ZBrush. And I just, I, the only reason I know them is just from either accident or somebody just showing me sometime and I'm just like, how, what? <laughs> okay. All right. I want to, I want to block out his hat. His hat is, is crazy. Gaming with war. Thanks. I appreciate it. Do a save as. Okay, let's do, <clears throat> let's block out that hat. Try to anyway. Um, okay. I'm going to do it is I'm going to use an, a, the bottom side of a cylinder. Insert a cylinder. Yeah, Logan, that's that's the biggest challenge. Is trying to do that. There, done. Nice hat, Wolf. Okay, so I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the bottom of this. So I can do group by normals. It'll put it in its own group like this, and then isolate it and delete. Oops, not delete by symmetry. Delete hidden. There we go. <clears throat> right, Doug. Yep, I do too. Same, same. I'm trying to figure out how this hat goes. I'm gonna turn on double sided just so I can see the back side too. It's like a musketeer hat. Might have to find some reference on how it twists. Oh, thanks so much, James. Well, you know, someday, hopefully, someday, and hopefully the, I, I want to think the course will still be there ready and waiting for you. I really appreciate it. Okay, drop this down here. Hard to kind of get it to clear those ears. I might have to drop those ears down. It's like, uh, this hat reminds me of kind of the uh, Captain Hook's hat. that big giant feather like the hook yeah I kind of picture it like that let's see here <clears throat> kind of like kind of like one of these guys you know so it's up on both sides higher on one side and the feather crawling over the top of it. So yeah, something like this. Okay. That helps. All right. Let's just park that over here. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> the eyes in that photo. 
He's just like, what? <laughs> That's funny. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to take it out of symmetry and pull this side up. <clears throat> now, really, this is this is a super low resolution hat. So I'm going to subdivide it once and then d delete the lower subdivision level so I can have more resolution to curl this up. Oops. Mask lasso. <laughs> Thanks, Mish. I I believe I uh appreciate it. I hear that often. Makes me happy. Yeah, I'll I'll I get I'll get to there. I'm just flipping it up on this side first. <clears throat> Move that out, lift that up. Let's crank this side up. Not as much. And then we'll pull it down in the front right here. Get that curve, that sweepy curve. Let's see how far down we can get it without breaking it. Hey, what's up? I'm liking that. <clears throat> you can also use the snake hook brush with RGB turned off as a move brush. And it gives you a little bit different feel and a different control. So if you're struggling with getting the move brush to uh, to feel right, just try the snake hook brush. Logan, everybody does, man. <laughs> like I can't leave, you know, and imagine the, um, like traditional sculptors, they, they don't get any symmetry. They're just clay, you know? It's real world. So they're used to working with with no symmetry. In fact, it's a good exercise to go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab this hat now that I have it and just kind of rest it on his head a little better. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and then um, we'll do the little top out of a cylinder or a sphere. Let's see here, the center is not not center anymore. Okay, so now what we can do with this piece is we can either delete it or squish it as far as like the bottom of this. It does look like a Pringle. Hmm, <laughs> Pringle. Okay, let's grab the clip curve. Yeah, I do want to, let's go squish it up to, up to the halfway point. Okay, um, and then just kind of bring out, whoops. 
bring these points out to make it more squarish. Flatten the top. little nudges I do sound like Bob Ross when I do stuff like that just little little happy nudges <laughs> this is sticking down clear in clear down here <clears throat> I approached the feather? Yeah, me too. <laughs> I kind of have an idea what I might do with that. If I get to it today, I might not get to it today. We'll see. I still have to do the mouth interior too. He doesn't have a tongue or teeth or anything. Actually, I want to mirror this portion here bringing it down to set on his head better okay Kind of like a, kind of like an old lady spring hat. <laughs> I don't know what that means. You know, like those big, big, like floppy spring hats. <laughs> the rich ladies wear to the, to the races. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Sun hat. Yep. <laughs> What's up, Overton? How you doing, man? That's right. Overton did a character. It's like a pimp character. I love that character, man. Giant nose. All right. After I, I add thickness to this hat, it'll be a lot easier to manage. <clears throat> Sir Nose Devoid of Funk. That's right. <laughs> oh, I need to go bigger with this hat, though. Bigger. go bigger sun hat <laughs> let's see I got a warble right there get out of there warble okay I think the thickness adding thickness will take care of his eyebrows popping through there Okay. Save it. Time we got. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I gotta stretch for a second. <sighs> yeah, it might curl over the back. I have it curled down a bit, but maybe a bit more. Right. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to do some more research and figure out how that goes. We might curl down here. I'll have to try it out. Let's see. Yeah, maybe not that much, but <laughs> so 
something. Yeah, that's doing the whole thing. I don't have to smooth it out. Okay. Um, so with the feather, what I was thinking about is um, it's like it's like one of those riding feathers, right? Those those plume plumy feathers. You think it curls up? I don't know. Let me see where my uh, I don't know how much they curl up. It's not a, it's not one of these. It's one of these. So yeah, I don't think it curls up in the back. Maybe like this, maybe yeah, I think you're right. Maybe it does, but there's, see how there's different hats. This is like a triangle. There's triangle ones, and then there's like a two-point one. I was doing one like this, not like this. So, maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe they all do. Okay. Look at, see, that one is awesome. Holy cow. Captain Hook's hat. This one just goes two. Anyway, there's, there's a, I have to decide on the options, what kind of hat he's got, if it's a three or a two, <laughs> but it's good. Uh, yeah, it's good feedback though. <clears throat> All right, I'll have to decide. Um, let's see. So this feather, basically what I would do, what I'm thinking about doing is um is making like a glob that is in the shape of that feather and then drawing it on the top drawing the feather on the top of that glob in the shape of the the shape of the feather like the outside um like the uh yeah because it's yeah like you said it's like a big ostrich feather so um, I'll have to decide on how, and it would like curl up at the end. And anyway, kind of like these, like these feathers right here. See how they're just very, very thick and full of plumage. I could do it like this one. See, this was the hat I was making. Like this guy right here. That's just high up on one side and low on the other. That's just got this. I could do the feather like this. I was just like a big thing of smoke almost with feather detail cut into it. I might do that. That looks pretty good. And this is 3D printable. Whereas the th way I was thinking about doing it is not. So. Yeah, this is, yeah, this is the kind of hat I was doing. So. Interesting. This is a good model. dare click on these i was hoping it would show the back side of him but anyway cool <clears throat> z sphere <laughs> maybe kevin <laughs> i don't know we'll see do i scope style these characters i do that's kind of my thing okay i have time to do the cuffs on here Duplicate these. <laughs> yeah, dog. Are you th talking about D'Artagnan? Three Musketeers? D'Artagnan! I love that name. I need to watch that movie again. I thought those were gloves. They might be gloves, but even if they are gloves, I can still, um, yeah, they might be. You're right. <laughs> okay. Most likely gloves, but still, 
I usually make my glove cuffs separate anyway. <clears throat> Ray for the mute button. So I don't have to cough in your ears. I will make these gloves. Well, thanks, Overton. It turned out okay from the side, at least. I like them from the side. From the from the top, they're still kind of wonky. I think I might. I think I squoze them too much, and the the palm is too long. <laughs> What's up, long palm? A little long in the palm. <laughs> it sounds horrible. Do you three D print your characters? I certainly do. So all the ones back here on my shelves, these are all. The ones in gray are all my characters that I've printed. <clears throat> or I've had printed, I should say. You have your own printer? I do. I haven't used it yet, but I bought a I bought a form too. I just haven't used it yet. Oops. <clears throat> oh, I kind of like that color. Maybe. <laughs> that thumb is out, out of control. Nice. Yeah, a resin machine. That's what I have is a Form 2 is a resin. That's my favorite resin printer. Make this thumb a little better. Shrink this pinky down. Okay. <clears throat> Almost like a frog hand <laughs> from the top. Oh, goodness. I just, I found an extremely good deal on this one, so I bought it. How often do you need to run it? I don't know. I need to ask my friend at, at Form Labs to see. But I need to run it soon. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Dan? No worries. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I think I'm gonna be done for today. I think he turned out okay for today's stream. I'll keep working on him. Um, I wanna bend that back and get that torso. This, it, it comes from the pose. This whole thing is coming from the pose. So right now this looks like <laughs> Just a, a droopy mess, but um, eventually when I get him posed, he'll be much better. And I'm going to make his shoes, his his feet need to get bigger. So no worries, Dan. <laughs> <clears throat> Thanks, Overton. I think these his hands need to be bigger too. Need to be bigger. But 
very fun. Very fun regardless. All right. Here's what he looks like in perspective. Turn it to 50. That's better. All right, Dan. Yeah, sorry. So I stream from two hours ago till now. If that every every Monday, this is my stream time. So if you can catch me next Monday, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, no worries. So um, yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out with me today. Uh, as always, if you want to get my user interface and my brushes, I give them away for free over on my website, 3dcharacterworkshop.com. And I also teach uh, a course online. It goes all the way from nothing to finished game character slash 3D printed character slash rendered character. So um, if you're interested in that, go check it out. It's also on my website. Again, that's 3dcharacterworkshop.com. And um, I'm running a deal right now that's, uh, if you if you could post that, yep. So Neil just posted in the chat. It's uh, spring 2020 is the code for 10% off you can get right now. So um, anyway, guys, thank you very much. Uh, stay, stay healthy and we will see you hopefully next Monday. All right, take care and uh, have a wonderful week. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye.